And for our very first episode here of One, here of one on One, we're going to talk a little women's soccer and with the uh, release of the 2013 preseason poll, we've got head coach Drew Roth and Rachel Tejada of the Illinois State Redbirds joining us. Rachel, Drew, how's it going in, in normal? It's going well. How you doing, Derek? Pretty. I'm doing good. Rachel, how are you doing? Pretty good. All right. Well, Drew, let's start with you. Uh, well, of course, the Redbirds will pick the top of the preseason poll. Um, three student athletes on the all preseason all conference team as well. Give us your reaction to the preseason poll, and also give us a brief o- overview of your team for the upcoming season. Okay. Well, the preseason poll, as we all know, uh, doesn't mean a whole lot because there's just so many things that can happen, and uh, it's very hard to know what other teams are bringing in and, and things of that nature. Um, but I think that's based on us having a good year last year. Obviously, that's a, uh, usually a pretty good indicator. So we feel like uh, you know that's the spot we want to be in, so we're definitely not going to complain, but uh, we also don't really pay too much attention to that you know, because uh, a, uh, a lot of games to play, and it's that postseason one we're looking for. But uh, as far as our team, we, we returned a lot of players, and uh, we added some players that I think will complement them very well. Um, we understand that uh, you know last year uh, we, we finished second, so we realized that uh, uh, our goal every year is to win the conference uh, regular season and get us that number one seed for the Valley Tournament. So we've got our work cut out. Uh, you know, uh, definitely going to have some great competition as always, and uh, we're just focusing on uh, getting better every day. And uh, by the time conference play comes around, uh, hopefully we'll be ready. All right. Now, obviously, the young lady sitting next to you there, Rachel Todd, has had a great impact on your program. Um, leading the league in a number of offensive categories, obviously. Um, how do you continue to challenge her to get better and to push her to even greater heights? Well, I think, you know, just we, we, we preach a lot of, you know, if, if what you did yesterday gets you excited, then you haven't done much today. So uh, with Rachel, just always giving her uh, a couple things that, that she can work on to, to improve and challenge her a bit. Um, She's uh, obviously a great competitor, so I, I don't need to motivate her to, uh, you know, bring that edge and, and want to win and want to get better because she has that. That's what makes her, uh, you know, such a dangerous, such a, you know, impact player. Uh, but there's definitely some things that, uh, that we talk about and say, hey, you know, um, you, you're already where you are. Um, let's see what we can do to take that next step and make you an even more dominant player. And uh She's uh, she's she's smart. She she gets it. Uh, I don't have to tell her twice. Um, and uh, we just try to continue to maintain that standard. And uh, if she's not living up to it, we let her know. But uh, she she wants to be uh, a great player, and that uh, makes my job a little bit easier. Absolutely, Rachel. I'm gonna switch to you now. Obviously, we've got a number of accolades here at the conference level. Uh, freshman of the year, two-time player of the year, uh, led the league 18 goals, 10 assists. Uh, talk a little about your experience, what it's like to be a collegiate soccer player at Illinois State, and do you expect to be this good at the Division One level? I mean, coming in, you don't expect that, but once you attain that level, then you try to keep it there and progress every day and do your best every single day in and out. Practice, coming into practice, you got to give your 100% effort and um, kind of lead the other younger players on and um, set that standard high. Now, you, that's a good term. You, you use the word kind of leading the younger players, obviously. Um, your junior year now, uh, more of a leadership role for you? Do you see yourself being a little bit more hands-on of guiding newcomers and freshmen on your team? Yeah, because we, so, since we have such a young team, um, being a junior on the team, you got to kind of lead them by example on and off the field with grades, um, everything like uh, your social life, everything like... Um, not just on the field, but also off the field. Absolutely. Now, Rachel, you, you talk about leading the social life and things like that. Uh, are you active on social media at all? Um, I try to stay away from that. I make statuses about my family, missing them. Um, don't try to like post too much on there. A um, couple pictures every now and then with my friends, but nothing too much. Sure. Uh, I bring that up because last year at the conference championship, one of the most liked pictures was from the conference tournament. After you guys won the, uh, the, the NEC Women's Soccer Championship, and I'll show this photo here on the screen now as we're talking about it, uh, you guys were doing a little hand gesture <laughs> with your hands. Can you talk a little about what that is at all? Uh, that started my freshman year. Um, the seniors kind of brought that about. Um, it just pretty much means, like, we're hungry, like, we still want more. So, so the birds so, are munching so for more? 
All right, all right. Good to know, good to know. That's one thing that's always had us curious here at the conference office that we did not know. So um, I guess finally to wrap up here, uh, Rachel, it's 2013, and obviously there's a lot going on in college athletics. You know, we hear about so many different stories about student athletes doing, you know, one thing or the other. Um, but here in the Valley, we sort of take a little bit more pride that our student athletes excel in the classroom, on and off the field, uh, and do things the right way. Um, if you could, if you're talking to a freshman on your team, uh, what's a word of advice you'd give student athletes that are coming into uh, college athletics and, and how to go about doing things the right way? Um, I would just try to tell them to be themselves and not, not get caught up in other, other people's business, you know, um, come in ready to play, obviously on the field, but also stay away from um, the outside stuff like the social media and all that stuff and try to focus on your school and also balance your soccer life too.